Hello everyone, my name is Daniel, I'm just a casual racer, and today we're back in Automobilista 2 for the final video, the fourth and final video, in our 1995 Kart IndyCar season here, and we're going to be doing Fontana, which is a stand-in for the Michigan 500, and then also do the finale at Laguna Seca. I think this track is possibly one of our best chances at a win. We've been starting in last every race except for the Indy 500, so it's always about making efficient passing and getting up to the field as fast as possible in these 5% races. And this track, wide, fast, slipstreamy, big packs, it's an opportunity, I think, for us to work through the field quickly as long as we don't get bogged down. So, really going to push hard, risk it for the biscuit, you know. Pretty much a two-horse race at this point for the championship in these final two races between uh, Al Unser Jr. and uh, Villeneuve. So, we will... Who are best, maybe try to get a win, or at the very least, right, trying to get a top 10 points finish right now, we're in 12th from the standing, so. Right here, hurt us to our outside, send it in, please don't block me off. Of course he did, Sullivan. <laughs> Got John Stone and Lion Dyke as well ahead of us, cars that we've been racing against all year, it seems like, at every track. This midfield, or even sometimes in the back. Alright, we're gonna end up on the outside, try to get a big run off the... There we go. Dive down by Lion Dyke. That was a good corner there. Carving through, not losing any time. Up and around. Into this corner here. I'm gonna send it inside Lion Dyke. I think. Don't cut me off. And he squeezes me down. And we're gonna hang on here. Up and away. There we go. Up into 17th here. That's three laps down and we're moving. We're up 11 positions here. Line. Like I said, I think we've got a good chance in this one. There we go. Such a fast, crazy track, you know. Fontana. <laughs> and, uh... Fly around here. Go high side here. Get in the slipstream. Come on, don't creep up on me. Ribeiro is going to stay low. That's good for me. We're in, uh... Raft up here, stay high, bring as much speed as I can. I'm almost flat. Huge run out of the corner. There we go. Oh, touch the wall a little bit. There we go. Barely enough room to squeeze around. Pass Pruitt to the inside of Pruitt here. Bobby up ahead in 10th. A good run. Oh, nice corner here. There's Robbie Gore. Whoa! Bobby came down on me. I'm in the grass. I hung on. <laughs> Oh, we've lost some spots, though. One of the six laps is almost halfway. That hurt us a lot. We lost some time there. But still getting a good run out of this corner. That helps a lot. Come on, give me a toe, guys. Bobby and Gordon again. Passer up ahead of them. Behind Robbie Gordon. Oh, he's going down low to the side now. Vassar hit the wall. Oh, Robbie. Don't come down. Come on, guys. Move it. <laughs> Bobby touches the wall, gives it a little kiss. Now we got uh, Pruitt looking to the inside of me here, so I'm going to have to go high side. Very speed around the outside. That works well, actually. We clear Fabi up into 10th position. We come around to complete the seventh lap here, get in Robbie Gordon's slipstream. Dive down low beneath him. Yeah, the leader's right up there. We got a chance in this one, guys. Behind Bobby Ray Hall. Woo! Ray Hall, Fittipaldi. Next two for us to take. Eighth lap here with two, two thirds of the way through the race. Way. Get into Fittipaldi's slipstream here. Got a couple of cars diving down low. Trying to set up a move into turn one. There we go. We're up in this lead pack. We are in this, guys. There we are. Sixth position. Be three laps to go and we hit the line. Keeping the foot flat. Carrying as much speed as I possibly can. Round the outside, we are flying right now. 
willing to risk it more than the AI is right now, at least. We are behind Villeneuve, who has moved into... Oh my goodness. Lost it there for a second on our outsides, Andretti. And then we got Alancer Jr. here, championship leader. But these two are the two battling for first in the championship. So huge implications here with these two. But I'm going to spoil the party. But we got a car low of us now. We got a car high of us. I'm back out, guys. Don't need this. All right. All right, I think I'm good. Nothing. We still got uh Car's taking a look behind me. Dave Ferran is taking a look. We're into two laps left here. Looking at All-Answer Jr. getting a good run up the inside of him. Move is ahead of us. Alancer Jr. still not around us. It's the final lap here. This is it. <laughs> One more corner. Alancer Jr. still on my outside. He's killing me. I can't get in the draft. He's going past. Us three wide. <laughs> Move. Ah, third position. They nipped this right at the line there. Uh, we didn't end up messing up the the championship battle at all. So it's Alonzer Jr. Although we may have messed with a Villanueva. Is that how you say his name? Villanueva? Villanueva? I don't know. Anyways, uh, so Alonzer Jr., Jax Villanueva, and um, myself. Then we have Gil Del Ferran and Paul Tracy to round out our top five in that race. We'll move on. Let's see how that affects the championship standings here. Al Unser Jr. continues to build his lead with that win, giving himself a 13-point margin. It's not over, but um, Jax has to essentially win and hope something goes wrong for Alonso Jr. That's his fourth win on the season. He's really put together something special this year. In the meantime, that third position gave us our second podium and pushes us all the way up into seventh and potentially giving us a shot even at a top five finish. I mean, even as high if we did really well as third in the championship. So huge finish for us. We'll see if we can put it together in the next race at Laguna Seca. Alrighty, so here we are in the season finale to close out this championship. You know, it's between Al Unser Jr. and Jax Villeneuve for the championship. And then we are looking at, you know, making sure we get a couple points to lock up a top 10. But also, you know, if we have a pretty good finish, top 5 or even, in theory, we could even get a third place finish behind the two championship contenders. So, got to make some moves here pretty quickly to work our way through the field. Four laps. There's quite a few passing opportunities, and I'm quite good at this circuit. So we'll see what I can create. Diving in, I'm going to be very aggressive. Not really got too much to lose. Not contending for the championship, you know. Still haven't got a race run this season. Up and looking to the outside here on the left. Oof. Let's see here. An opportunity here. Late move to the inside. There we go. Up over the curb. Yep, just enough room. Squeeze through. And follow Guerrero here into the corkscrew. I get a nice exit if I can. Go. And past him. Nice move. There's Lion Dyke ahead of us. I get a break. One, two cars here into the corner. A little bit too much on the apex there. Hit the curb on the inside a little too hard, the bumper, but we're doing all right. We got Brian Herta ahead of us and Fittipaldi ahead of him. We'll go wide here. I think we've got traction on the outside. It's really got the grip. Up and around John Stunt, Johansson as well. And now we're following. Well, Fittipaldi, can we make a move quickly? Come on, let me go. Faster. I mean, I'm faster than probably anyone on the circuit right now. 
just really getting to grips with this car by this race. Yeah, seventh or eighth, and you know, recorded this all relatively within over a two day period. So, having this whole thing by this point, I've done enough laps and uh, feeling quite fast and comfortable in this car, especially on a track that I really like and know. All right, Robbie Gordon ahead of us here in 12th. Be able to grab the points. He's kind of been hanging around all season, other than the Indy 500, which he won. Um, all season, he's been hanging around at the very end of the points, you know. There we go. Up and around. It's Fernandez. Fernandez, Bosell, and Dreddy. That's half of the race. We're up into 12th. I mean, we're in this for a good finish. Kind of exactly what we were hoping for. Right around the outside. We just got so much opportunity in that first turn on the outside. We've just been picking up two or three pe uh, places almost every lap. It's just been hugely beneficial in getting through this field quickly. Woo! A little bit too early. There's Andretti ahead of us. We're going to get past him. Come up behind Tracy here. Maybe he'll even give us the inside. Well, maybe not quite. We'll have to take it. Cover it. Yeah, he's covered off. Quite aggressive, Tracy. And uh, you really kind of have to be careful when you run into his AI. All right, there we go. Up the inside into the corkscrew. Ooh. Almost lost into the corkscrew. There we go. Side of Tracy here. Come on. Oh, that was aggressive. It worked, though. Vassar, on the wave. He's not doing quite as well. He's definitely not challenging. He needed a win, and Al Unser Jr. did not do very well, but as I can see in the standings, Al Unser Jr. is kind of dominating, and <laughs> doing a wave isn't even giving him a challenge, so pretty much a walk away for Al Unser unless he blew something up, and even then, Nueva isn't scoring enough points to uh, really challenge. Seventh here. Can we get a top five on this final lap? Pushing low on fuel, we'll have to see. I think we can make it, but we're gonna definitely be on fumes. But it makes us light very fast, so that's a good thing. Boom to the inside. Hang it. Bobby here, DeFerrin. A little bit of touching there. We'll wheel to wheel. Heading towards the corkscrew now. I'll break you. Oh, he's still there. Oh. He's gonna let me go? No, he's not. Baron is up ahead. And fumes at the line here. Fifth position. And fourth. Woohoo! <laughs> I don't know, it looks like we might. Right on the outside. We're gonna be literally on fumes going across the line. We're out of fuel. <laughs> and so we lose that spot to DeFerrin as we just run out, ran it super lean, but we're still able to finish fifth. So had fourth for a second, ran out of fuel there, finished fifth. So let's see who the championship standings are. Let's check that out right now. So. Al Unser Jr., five wins out of the seven races, 114 points. It was a dominant season for him as he raises the championship trophy. Jackson Nueva. He had a very solid season, you know, with a win, 87 points. He pushed Al Unser Jr., but ultimately nobody was really a full challenge for him. We've got Bobby Rahal in third, Paul Tracy in fourth, Scott Pruitt in fifth, Robbie Gordon in sixth, and then we finished tied for sixth behind Robbie Gordon, but of course he's got that win, so we'll be actually, the tiebreaker goes to him, so we'll be finished seventh. So pretty solid season. Unfortunately, we didn't quite yeah, that fourth place wasn't quite enough to jump us into the top five. But overall, a really I would say for what it was you know chose a back marker team, really kind of a fun season. Cool, you know, two podiums, um, finishing second twice at the Indy 500 and at Fontana, and then play, uh, doing quite well um, at Cleveland and then also here at Laguna Seca for sure as well. So uh, ultimately, there were. 18, only 18 of the 28 cars scored points. Um, if you're interested in trying this out, check out the links in the video description. I got everything set up for you guys down there so you can download it and do something just like this. 
Um, hope you guys enjoyed this season. Let me know if you're interested in some more championship stuff like this. I might do some more in the future. Or I might not if the reception isn't very good, but um, thought it'd be something cool to try out and also just kind of want to do this on my own time as well. So hope you guys enjoy, but most of all, I hope you all had a fantastic, have a fantastic rest of your week.